Mom Terry here along with her fabulous little co-star, Miss Lucy, and my constant companion, huh? Yes, you are, Miss Lucy. And uh, today we're going to talk about part two of building out the ultimate crafting camper van. Yes, um, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait until I'm done with it. Uh, it is going to be so much fun to do crafting. I, I can't believe that. Um, so we're on day two of it and I'm installing all the back cabinets. I've, uh, instead of, uh, having everything not flush, uh, against the wall, I had a lot of gap, you know, I'm always carrying that big clam tent because people always say they're going to go camping with me. Then they never show up. You know what? Bring your own tent. I'm not going to bring my own tent. What I want to create here, what my vision for my van is, is, you know, okay, I have three goals in life. Three. You know, a lot of people, they have 500 goals in life. God bless them. You know, uh, jack of all trades, master of none. Uh, but what are my three goals? Uh, staying fit. I want to stay fit every day. And I have a great workout routine. Uh, the other thing I want to do is create, create, create. And I want to use lots of different medium and, uh, you know, just make fabulous stuff. I love creating things. And, uh, oh, let's go back to staying fit. The other thing about staying fit is the, you know, not only is my exercise routine important to me, but having healthy foods, uh, you know, keeping my diet balanced, working on my insomnia, all of that's very important. So staying fit, staying healthy, you know, as you get older, uh, <laughs> things go south. They really do. And I don't want things to go south. So, uh, then uh, crafting, crafting, crafting. I'm going to do different things. I want to bring different paints. Um, you know, I want to start exploring. You know, mostly it's uh, small little art projects that I really enjoy. I want to make paper beads. Uh, you know, beads out of old magazines and everything. That would be so much uh, fun. Uh, I want to paint uh, different styles, you know. And, uh, you know, oil paints. I really love oil painting, but... Uh, you know, living in a van, they're so messy. They really are. So I'll stick with acrylic paints. And uh, I, I just want to explore uh, art and earrings. So that's the second thing that's important to me. And none of these is more important than the other. Um, the third thing that's important to me is relationships. Whether I've met you camping or, you know, family, friends or whatever, keeping those relationships alive and going and my relationship with little Miss Lucy. So, you know, those are my top three goals. And I need to create a home on wheels that uh, allow me to uh, keep within my goals. So uh, that's why uh, it's going to be the ultimate crafting camper van. Uh, the space got moved back. Why? Because, uh, you know, some days uh, the wind is really bad where I love camping at. And uh, I can do my yoga and my uh, thigh toner in here. You know, so it made it, it's really making it a nice little spacious gym for me. And uh, that's important to me. Anything else, Miss Lucy? Nope. We just want to stick to our goals and enjoy our life the best we can. And, uh, you know, take it one day at a time because that's all you really can do. All right. So let's get back into, uh, the van and start fixing things. Uh, the great thing is, is all these drawers that I have, uh, the holes were drilled already. So it was just a matter of taking off the electrical tape, actually cutting it off and, uh, retaping things, but pushing everything back. So let's check in on our progress. So what I see is a space gap back here. I'm not sure why these are up so far. So what I'm doing is, this is just Gorilla Tape. So I'm gonna undo this. This is how I bind them together, is very carefully I hold it and uh, just tape it around and around. So that's, what, that's electrical tape, but that's what I do. So we're gonna find out why it's up a little forward. My bad, I was able to push it back, so I did. And I wanna show you a little anchoring point. Right there, this is solid metal, so I'm gonna zip tie around here and around there to hold it down, and I'm gonna see how many more I can find to uh, zip tie to. This is, uh, yeah, that's worthless, but this metal bolt, that's pretty good. So what I'm showing you is I had a very, very tiny little gap in between those two, but what happened was by the time I got to the cabinets on the end, both of them wouldn't fit. So I really had to make another adjustment, but that's okay. Now all my cabinets fit. 
The next thing that's important to me is the insulation and this is Reflectix and I've cut this down a few times so I'm going to go ahead and buy a new roll but that'll stand right there. So to make it easier to put on the Reflectix I turned the cabinet around and now I'm taping the Reflectix then I'll tape the two together so I have no air gaps. So I turned my cabinet around and next I'm going to put it back there put it with that one. Okie dokie. I'm just lucky I have some workroom I can fit back there. Yay! So underneath here I have two rubber mats and I decided to leave the carpeted in. It won't affect the cabinets at all but I'd rather have more insulation than less. So right now what we have is all the foil Reflectix on. I made sure the door is closed before I zip tie everything down. I'm going to put in the other things and make sure nothing moved an inch. All right, everything fits fine. So the reason why this is that goes at an angle, so that can't go back any further, but that's okay. I don't mind stepping my cabinets as long as, see, I have full access to the cabinet, so that'll be fine. Everything's fine, so it looks like time to start zip tying and duct taping. All right, so now I'm zip tying the two cabinets together instead of zip tying one and cinching it so it'll be like this and then I'd have a hard time getting my zip tie through. What I do is I relax it. I'll feed through all the zip ties and this way it makes it threading through a lot easier and then I'll just zip it all, all at one time. So this is why I don't cinch it up real tightly. This one was backwards so I had to break it apart a little and rework it. My fingers could not get inside if it's like that. So yeah, this makes it so much easier. You never know if you make a mistake. So yeah, they're just lightly cinched so I can still keep working it. All right, I got all my zip ties right. So I'm going to stand up the carpet and really tighten them down. All right, so the first cabinet is in. I still have to attach it to that cabinet using electrical tape and everything. And right now I'm doing the second cabinet. So they're all tightened up pretty nice. It sort of matches, sort of. Next, I got to cut them down. Yay. All right, so one of my other ideas was what if I put it side to side like this? I could get two more drawers here and I'll show you what I don't like about that. So here we have it, two of them side by side. And I would have to get out of my van to access anything in the back, but I would have two extra drawers up there. I'd have space right here. And I'm still thinking, uh, it's tough, you know what I mean? It's tough. So it's a bad idea if I'm in my van crafting, but if I have my tail veil on and I'm out here crafting, then things are readily accessible and I'm gonna take five minutes to think about this. All right, I thought about it back the other way. All right, now I'm just taping cabinet one to cabinet two. Very boring, but I wrap it around a few times real good. You can use duct tape, Gorilla tape, whatever. I am going to buy a roll of Reflectix and do this properly. All right, I have used really thick zip ties and I can double up there, but I found a lot of anchoring points to anchor it to. See, it's not gonna go anywhere. And that's one of my big fears as you drive down the road, will your cabinets move? And I'm showing you, I'm pushing it all over. Thumbs up, it's not going anywhere. And look, I have full access to my crafting stuff. So we, all right, so I need to get some bungee cords for the back ones and, uh... Looking pretty good there, huh? Yeah, got a lot of them filled already. Yay. I am so happy on the side of the van. I still have space for my two solar panels and some clothes. Yes. All right, it's coming out pretty cool. Things are secured and I got to start filling up the bins. Yes, got lots of area right here. I'm going to do my carpet in tomorrow and uh, this is the end of day two. I got lots of lots of storage yes so as you can see the van is coming along nicely i'm so excited i can't wait to start crafting uh, i got 15 extra drawers up front for so much stuff a couple of bead boxes and everything so it's going to be fantastic a different way to store my canned goods 
thank you, Dale, for removing my seat. I'm so grateful. And uh, we will continue on. This is going to be a great project. And I can't wait to start crafting and having fun. And uh, like I said, in January, maybe if you're out there, we can uh, craft together. Wouldn't that be great? All right. From Mom, Jerry, and Miss Lucy, we will see you down the road. Bye. Bye.